Good morning everyone. Um, this is your next class for online. Um, hope you are well. Today we are going to finish up reviewing unit one. The last class we talked about where did you go last weekend, what did you do. So I hope you can remember now. Um, today we are going to be focusing more on the grammar aspect of this subject. So first of all we are going to read a story and answer questions about the story and then we will go into a bit of the grammar. Um, so um, let's go to the story on page um, page 14 of your student book. So you open page 14 of your student book. We have a story called Beautiful and Useful. Um, so you can put your fingers on the words, follow what I am going to say, and then you are going to read. So everyone can read exactly like we did in the classes two weeks ago. So as I said, the story is called Beautiful and Useful. So take a look at the picture. So look at the picture on the left. What do you think this building is? Is it an art gallery? A palace? Surprisingly, it is a place where people burn trash. This unique building is in Vienna, Austria. It used to be grey and boring, but then it was damaged in a fire. The leaders of Vienna needed to fix it. They asked an architect named Friedensreich Hunter Wasser. Now that's a very hard word for you to say, so I'm going to say it again. Friedensreich Hunter Wasser. Um, to make a new attractive design. Now people in Vienna are proud of this interesting landmark. And in our their sad grey places in your city how can they become more beautiful so um, look at the picture what you think it is maybe it's an art gallery maybe it's a palace no it's not it's a place where people burn trash now trash is like the rubbish so people burn their rubbish here and instead of putting in a bin, they burn the rubbish in a fire. This unique building. Unique means uh, it's very unique, means only one in the world. So it's not, there's no copy. So it's a unique building. Um, very famous. Lots of people can go here. It's very unique. Um, used to be grey and boring. So it used to be very boring. People did not like it. But then it was damaged in a fire, so a fire, and then the leaders, or the government of Vienna, which is in Austria, in um, Austria, in Europe, they decided to fix it, so they built a new place and made it more beautiful. As you can see here, it's very colourful, not grey, not boring, so it's very, and he's an architect, he was an architect, a past architect is a person who designs a building so you need to draw the building or design the building before you build so the architect designs what the building will look like or draws what the building will look like attractive it's uh, attractive means it's very people like to go and see and they're very proud so if you look at Bangkok where you live do you think there's grey and boring places in the city um, maybe there is what would you do how would you make Bangkok more beautiful maybe you would um, uh, paint all the buildings in beautiful colors instead of having grey maybe you will um, yeah like draw loads of pictures on the walls make it more beautiful like this so it's a very useful and beautiful place. So these are the words and the story that you need to know. So you need to know about this. So 
So if you look at exercise B, I'm going to answer the question, what is the building used for? So is it used for looking at art, burning trash, or living in? So what do you think if you go to the story, the what surprisingly it is a place where people burn trash? So the answer would be B burning trash. So you must circle B burning trash. Which is false or not true about the building? It is in Vienna, Austria. It used to be very colourful or it Freedom's Reich, Hunterwasser or change it. So what is false? Two of these are true and one is false. Find what is false and circle. And number three, people in Vienna are very... How do they feel about this? So they're very... Something of the building as a landmark. So people are very proud of this building as a landmark. Now a landmark is like um, like one thing that the city is famous for. So Bangkok is very famous for maybe Wat Arun or maybe people have heard of the Eiffel Tower in France or maybe they've heard of um, the, Go the, um, the Colosseum in Rome. So one landmark that makes a country very famous. So there's a so that is the work student book. When you are finished, you can go to the workbook, page 10. So these are the words you need to know. You have UNI, BU, FI, DAMA, LAND, ATTRAC, and then you have RN, MARK, QUE, T-I-V-E, X and G-E. So you need to match the word, spell the correct word. So, um, for example, U-N-I, is it U-N-I-R-N-M-A-R-K, Q-U-E, T-I-V-E, X or G-E. So find, so unique, Q-U-E, U-N-I. So that's number one. You can actually look at your student book if you want to double check. So all these words are in the story. So for example, F-I, it'd be F-I-X, so fix. So that is what you do for this section. Match and write, you write, you match and you write. So U-N-I, Q, U, right so that is what you do um, for section one section B read and write so you have trash architect proud damaged and building so fill in the correct word for each missing word you have one two three four five so what do you think this dot 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 is is a trash architect proud damaged or building so it would be what you think this building is so if you can go back to your story maybe try and do this with without reading the story um, and then after you fill in the blanks you can check the story and if you have mistakes correct the mistakes but I do not want you to copy from the book try and do first without looking at the story and afterwards go and check if you are correct or wrong and maybe you can change again so I try again as I said try and do without using your student book um, and copying because you need to learn and if you copy you are not learning um, so please try and do without the book and then check the book after so after you have finished where is this building so write a sentence about where is this building this building is in Vienna Austria or this building is in Vienna and why did the leader of the city need to fix the building he wanted to make the building more beautiful or you can say it was damaged in a fire so you just write a sentence where is the building and why did the leaders of the city need to fix the building so that is section one done 
and after now we're going to focus on simple paths so remember we have been doing simple paths for the last two weeks past tense so we are in the present at the moment the future is tomorrow or next week or next year or 10 years time yesterday is in the past so yesterday what what day was yesterday last week remember we're doing where did you go last weekend uh, what did you do last weekend and um, and um, so that it's a past tense so you need to know the past now simple past tense verb plus ed so remember verb plus ed for regular verbs or if it's irregular it's totally different no ed for example here play i played the guitar or sing um, is irregular so julie sang a lullaby a lullaby is like a um, a song that you sing to babies when you want to go to sleep um, so it's a lullaby is like a song for babies when you want to put them to sleep um, so you can see here the past is done already it's completed so you play the guitar already Julie has sang the song earlier so it's done already so the past is a completed activity so we are in the present and the future so remember verb plus ed for irregular, a regular verb, and irregular is a different spelling. There is no set formula. So exam here is the regular verbs. Base form plus ed. So example walk, walked ed, play, played plus ed. Verbs ending in an e, you add the d. So example like, liked, there's no double e. It's just ed move moved again there's no double ed it's just ed verbs in in the consonant plus a y consonant is not a vowel so a e are not a e i o u so example carry r y double r i e d so remember there's ed just make sure you have a double r i the y just make sure the y changes to i so carry, study, the R, the I, Y changes to I and then you add ED. Some verbs in a single consonant plus the second last letter is a vowel. So plan, so double N, make sure you know double N, double the last letter. Some words you double the last letter but always have ED. These are all regular verbs, regular verbs. Um, again, walk, walk. Uh, play, played, like, liked, move, moved, carry, carried, study, studied, planned, planned, and stop, stopped. Irregular verbs, no change. Some words stay the same. So if you see put, it's the same spelling, put. Or if you cut, cut with your scissors. Past tense is cut, stays the same. Or a different spelling. So example, remember we're doing go, where did you go? I went. What did you eat? I ate. Dig. So if you dig in the ground, you dug in the past and come and came. So there's some more we did like list or um, see and saw and uh, take and took, which we are doing already. So these are some irregular verbs. The formula for irregular verbs. Go to your student book. You can see on page 15. Um, Go, went, irregular verb, see, saw, take, took, buy, bought, fly, flew, give, gave, make, made, meet, met, sleep, slept, teach, taught, win, won, and write, wrote. So you can see these are all the irregular verbs. So again, where did you go last weekend? I went to a science museum. What did she buy? She bought. So make sure you know the regular verbs and irregular verbs. These are all the irregular verbs. Some of these that you need to know. So fly. Number one in exercise B, fly. Sam, dot 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 a kite all day yesterday the irregular verb pass so you change fly to flew so sam flew a kite all day yesterday go remember he 
went to a soccer stadium last month. Kate neat changes to met Alex last week. So I've done number one, two and three for you. Fly, flew, go, went and meet, met, try and do four, five and six yourself, changing to the past tense. And we know it's the past tense because it says yesterday, last month, last week, two days ago, last year or yesterday. And do the same for exercise D. I sleep well last night. Change sleep to the past tense. Judy take a music class. Change take to the past tense. He see lions. Change see. Henry give me a present. She write a letter to Dave and they win the game. So change to the past. Rewrite with the correct verb form. So that is your student book. And finally, the last page. Same as your student book. This is the workbook, page 11. Past tense, irregular verbs. We take a swimming class. We took a swimming class. He goes to a science museum. He went. She meets her friends. She met. I write the letter, I wrote the letter, they win the game, they won the game, the baby sleeps in the bed, the baby slept in the bed, Mr. Pitt teaches math, Mr. Pitt taught math, and my parents give me books, my parents gave me books. So find the verb, so find the verb and write in the past simple. Please write the full sentence, not just changing the verb. So you must write, we took a swimming class. So you will write, we took a swimming class. So you can do exercise C. And finally, where, what is it? Where do or did you go or went? Where, remember we're doing where did you go last weekend? So you circle. Um, where did you circle did you go last weekend i go or i went i went so you circle went and then you do the same for two three four and five what did he buy what did so remember the question is always the base form it is not the past so the base so it would be what did he buy he bought where did he go he went what did he see he saw the question will always be the base form of the verb not in the past so what did she make or made it will be what did she make she made what did you see we saw so fill in the circle of each word so you have two and each um, and that will be your um, lesson for today make sure you um, are doing your work and if you have any problems you can message me as I said follow the videos I am giving you instructions what to do follow what I say um, and I hope to see you again very soon and thank you for listening goodbye